This is a video for Argentine Tango. In this video, I will be talking about archers, uh, the quicker one, as well as the slow one, the bigger one, as well as the basic figure Salido with the cross in between. When dancing Argentine Tango, learning the steps as itself is probably, in my opinion at least, one of the easiest things to do. Argentine Tango has no rise and fall. Uh, you don't have to dance flat as you would typically do in Bauro or American Smooth Tango. So just learning steps is really not that complicated. Understanding how to dance those steps in order for you to create the art that you would typically see uh, from a very high level Argentine Tango dancers, that's a whole different story. When dancing Argentine Tango, um, the dancer, regardless of being the boy or the lady, you have the choice between type of footwork, posture, connections, and quite often the gentleman is allowed to play with the timing as he wish to do so. There's also a lot of freedom for the female when it comes to music, because once she gets to a, a bit more of an open position, and then she can definitely express herself without being rushed, just thinking of music, 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 I need to hit the next beat. If dancing with, um, if dancing with a specific choreography, then that would be a different story, obviously. Then you have to follow the specific pieces of music. When starting the salida, we're going to go as a female, for example, dancer, as a follower, we're going to go forward on the left, we're going to do side step to the right. From here, we'll take two steps back, back, we'll cross in front, and then in the end, we'll take step back, step to the side, and we'll place the feet together, change our weight. The choice between feet turned out or feet parallel and closed precisely would be a choice that the dancer should make for themselves. Forward poised is a bit more typical than simple verticality for Argentine team. Back weight in general is not welcome because the couples are pretty tightly connected. The couples have to choose between the specific connection and quite often, especially in some of the more modern videos, we will see that the lady is very closely connected with the gentleman, almost chest to chest. And then from a headstand point, nowadays at least I've seen more and more ladies actually looking to the right and slightly tilting down the eye level. And once again, in my opinion, that would be a bit more of a choice in getting used to what the other partner, partner feels comfortable. When dancing the salida, you already saw the steps, we do have a count figure. So if I count it, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, change your weight. As you can see, my personal preference is actually keeping my feet slightly turned out. It feels very comfortable for me, it helps me with my forward poise, feels great. You should always brush when you're dancing with your team tango and you're passing your feet. So every single time you're passing your feet, practice not just as your team tango, that should be a general rule when you're dancing, but just make sure that you're closing your feet when you're passing them. Um, when you have the locking action, when you have this action that happens right in the middle of the figure, you can choose between keeping your feet flat or basically going slightly up on the ball of the foot. I don't think that there will be a particular difference in terms of how one feels. However, most of the dancers do choose to actually rise up for the actual locking action, the change, and then exit. If I do so, I'm dancing with a rising action, what I will do is, you will hopefully see, I will allow the right foot to swing behind the left. I will go to the ball of the foot and I will bring the left foot to the top. I will partially change weight, push a bit more towards the left foot, and then will allow the right foot to go back, sidestep, and of course in the very end we're going to put the feet together. <clears throat>
closing your feet in the very end of the figure when we're talking about the eight beats is an option but it's not a must what i mean by that is if if the male dancer basically dances constantly in front of its partner the partner will have no other choice but simply closing the feet if however the male dancer does leave a bit of a space almost like outside position right basically sort of place the, the female dancer to the outside then the female dancer will have the opportunity to actually pass the feet on a seven eight one so this will be step number seven and on the eight if there's a space the female dancer will actually continue the step forward which will be a count number eight and then on the one Obviously, the lady can continue moving, perhaps with the same salida or a different figure. When dancing Argentine tango, it is always good to create more space from the leg standpoint. So, if I'm dancing on the way back, for example, what I will do is I will position myself a bit more forward twice, create a bit more space with the leg prior to moving the spine over the foot. What happens sometimes, especially with dancers that are interested with more figures than understanding how to dance the figures they already have, is this. They basically dance the uh, salute just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The quality is pretty much below zero. What needs to happen is there should be a constant stretch of the leg prior to moving the spine on the foot. And again, if watching, if experiencing um, high level dancers, there will definitely be a lot of legs being seen, and that's why one may see that because there is a very clear distinction between what moves first what follows and obviously plenty of clarity there the second figure actually the second and third figure are called the same they're ultras but they are distinctly different between uh, because they're similarly different because one of them is being danced with a bigger step the other one with a small step and honestly the feel of it is completely different literally of course the look is also quite different so if dancing the uh, salida very quickly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left foot is free. We'll change to the right and we're going to commence the first option with the left foot. We'll create some space, we'll get on the foot, and then we're going to brush while closing the feet. Once again, we'll create some space, we'll get on the foot, and then we'll brush before we move again. This will be the slower version. The slower version allows us to have more time. In order for us to fulfill the time given, the best thing that we can do is to dance bigger. So basically to take more space. And dancing once again. Left foot starts from going to the right. One, two, three, four. Now how many I do not know that's based on the desire of the couple or just the choreography if there is one. The head position in general when being used in a basic figure such as Salida is either to the left or right based on the choice that the couple makes. My personal choice, if I had to teach a student of mine, it would be head actually slightly to the left. But I do know that there is a lot of people that actually prefer the head to the right as well, which is perfectly fine. When dancing figure like the ultras, the head should always precede the movement, meaning if the follower is about to move to the right, she should move to the right. And then there's a movement. And then from here, the head actually helps us change and then move it. I know that there are some dancers who perhaps prefer to hesitate the head, delay and then change, but that would not necessarily be typical for Argentine tango. When dancing the quicker ultra, the more compact, the shorter version of it. This would be the third idea here. So we're going to have one, two, three, four. 
obviously more can be done. And it gets a little quicker. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The less rotation, the better. Because the quicker the action, the more compact it should be in order for us to be able to contain the energy. Um, we have to make sure that we're balanced between our actions in order for the figure to be successful. The more rotation we have, the more difficult it is to dance.